Hello viewers, Jordan Yu, XY Spade, Next World, Marcus Baskin, Josh Voorhees, and all of you. This is Aaron Dunn speaking, and I'm going to show you the telephones in the cabin as of today, which is May 2nd, 2020. Anyways, let's get to the car ID boxes. First off, the Bell Equipment Sony Core BE-99N. Followed by the Bell South CI61 and then the Bell South CI78V. Followed by the Lucent 425. Followed by the Radio Shack 250 car ID system and then the Radio Shack 433903A CID 3903A. Now for the quarter trim line telephones, we have the AT&T 210M, which I was just fixing earlier. The AT&T 210, the AT&T 260, the AT&T TR1909, the Bell, Directional Bell phone's favorite, then the Directional Bell, Bell Salve products 439. Then the Kobe CTP 100. Then the Connor phone PR5001 and the Connor phone SW204. As well as the Connor phone SW205, the Craig CT502 in hot pink, the Electro brand ATC8032. Of course, the Emerson EM2131. I need to get the Emerson EM2116, which is that one. This is the Emerson EM2516. Then the Emerson EM2517 with call IDs. Then the General Electricity 29253GE1B. Then the General Electricity 29267G2B with call ID. Then the GE3B version with call ID. Then the General Electricity 29297GE3-A. Alarm clock radio. Then the Linux Sound PH543 with caller ID. Then the Motorola S2634A. Quarter trim line phone with scanner. How does the thing work next world? If you want to show me how it works next world, please let me know. Then the Ventus Sears 329-3442-1550. As well as the Sony ITID20 with caller ID which is up there. Then the Directional Bell, Southwestern Bell FM1000. Then the Uniden 1260BK with caller ID. Then the Unisonic 6750. Then the VTEC CD1103 and then the VTEC CD1113 with caller ID. Now moving on to the cord cord cordless telephones with speaker phones. Starting with the AT&T 906. Ta-da! Then the AT&T 983 and then the 993. Which are both two lines. One of them with caller ID and the other one without. The Durabrand P3235. The Emerson EM2646 with caller ID. Followed by the General Electricity 29318G1-A. Then we have the General Electricity 29393G1-A. Which I need to try to do a check out of this one. Then the G Mark Ample Voice 50 with caller ID. Then the Linux Sound P312 and then the Linux Sound P319. Then, of course, the Panasonic KXTS3282W and then the Polycom SE 220, which are both with caller IDs and two lines. And then going to the cord of telephones, we have the automatic electricity. Or to read our disk corded phone. Then the Lucent 135. And now for the cordless telephones. Which we're starting with the cordless speaker phones. Let's start with the VTEC CS69519-2. Then the VTEC CS6919. 
I gave the 6919-16 to Mom. Then the Clarity C410. Then the Uniden EXI4561. Then the General Electricity 25832 GE3-A. And then the 25839 GE3-A. Or B-B. Whatever the model number is. It is dash B. Okay. I was wrong. And then we have, of course, and then, of course, we have the unit in D1363, well, deck 1363, and the deck D1364BK, which I just tested out earlier. Then the IA5877's extra handset and the VTEC CS6114, as well as the LCD touch panels. And now, moving onwards to, of course, oh, wow, what do we got here? The cordless, the corded cordless speakerphone answering systems. Starting with the AT&T 1831, then the 1856, then the SB 67118, which is the CINJ, then the CO4939, and the CO4940. And now for the ones that need a fixing, we have the 9357, which are the 900 megahertz to deck six cordless telephones and speakerphones. So, the Ameriphone XL50 needs fixing, as well as the Conair Phone CID 402 MS, and then the Conair Phone CID 400, which I almost forgot about them both. Um, the next one we have to show right now is, of course, the AT&T E5827, as well as the EP5995, and then the 1817. I almost forgot about that one. Then the E1813B. Then the E052303. Then the CO82213 that Nick's World has. Then the ATNT CO82301. And then, of course, the TO92328, which is sitting up there. Now, for the next one, we have Silly Me, it is the directional bell. Bell South, MH9934BK. Then the General Electricity, 26990 GE1 D. Then the General Electricity, 25865. Then the, well, the 25865 GE3 A. Then the 2581 EE3 A. And then the 28031 EE1 B. And then the General Electricity, 30522. EE1-A, not B. Alright, and then we got, of course, the Casio Foam Mate. 8250 corded telephone with the micro cassette remote analog answering system. And then, of course, we have, of course, the Motorola L705 CM base unit, as well as its extra handsets. And then, moving onwards, we have, of course, the Panasonic brand. Panasonic Insanity, that's what XY Spade himself said earlier. And he gave me the word Omonotopia. Omonotopia! First off, we have the Panasonic KXT G5243, then the KXT G6321S with the extra handset, then the KXT G. 7431B, then the KXTG6572R, as well as the Panasonic KXTGD223N, as well as the KXTG3760M. And now, silly me, it is the Uniden brand. Starting with, of course, the Uniden EXA915. Then the EXAI-978I. Then the Uniden. C, I mean the Uniden. DCT64A-3. Then the Uniden. CXAI-5698. Then the EXAI-5680. Then the DXAI-8580-2. Then the 
CEZAI2998, the CXAI2998, and then of course the D1780-5 and the D3280-2. And not to forget to mention the Indodan True 8885-3HS as well as the True 9488. Now, moving on, words of the V10 branding of phones. Starting with this one, we have the AT&T VT91, well, the VTEC VT9151, which is a 900 megahertz phone. Then the VTEC 2568, then the VTEC IA5854, which has the third of Mature Pleasant Voice, as well as the IA5877. Then the VTEC CS5121, then of course the VTEC CS6114, or CS6124, then we have the VTEC CS6829, then the VTEC DS6121. Now for the answer and systems, including the Lucent 1715, the AT&T 1717, then the 1718, then the 1719, then the 1722, then the 1725, then the 1738, then the 1739, then the 1740, as well as the Bell Equipment Sony Core JB500, then the Bell South 1129 Micro Cassette Remote Analog Answering System, then the Bell South 1195, which is the Directional Bell 1195, then I had to get rid of the Casio Foam AT115 because it was unfortunate and it was a defective device either way. So this one will replace it. The TA120. Then we have the Conair Phone Call Keeper TD1212 WCSF. Followed by the Conair Phone TAD1220 WCS. Then the Conair Phone Infinity. XS2510. Then we have the Emerson EM1250. Then we have the General Electricity 29868. Then the General Electricity 29868 G1 Bay. And then the one that, that is working currently, the General Electricity 2975 G1 B. And then the General Electricity 2988 GC1 A. And then this one, the General Electricity. 29877A. Then we have the Panasonic KXTM100B. Then the Radio Shack TAD704 with caller ID. Then the TAD3808. Then the TAD3822. Then the Sharper Image V2000S1. Then the Sony TAM100 Jordan U. This is what I wanted you to get anyway. This is the Sony TAM100. That's what it is. It's an answering machine, which has three mailboxes. As a Digitan answering system, which unfortunately records the far of all quality messages, but you can see here. The Southwestern Bell, Directional Bell, FA970S. Then the Southwestern Bell, Directional Bell, FA990. And that would be it. For the Digitan answering systems. Now for the final objects, the Radio Shack 43175 Mechanical Bell Ringer, which I've gotten from the Habitat for Humanity. Watch this. That one was for you, Jordan U, XY Spade, and X World. Now for the final ones. Starting with, of course, the base station, which is the Straight Talk Verizon Wireless Z723EL, and finally the Verizon Wireless F256VW. Anyway, here's a look at the air conditioner and a quick look at it. Oh, let's not forget to mention the Lucid Technologies 7625, which I've just put over here. And the gen and another General Electricity. 29267 G3-B quarter trim line phone with caller ID. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the Arctic Queen, Arctic King, 
WWK05CM71N air conditioner. So that would be it for the telephones in the cabin as of today, which is May 2nd, 2020. And unfortunately, we're still under the coronavirus outbreak until June 15th, according to our governor. Anyway, that was it for this video. May God bless every one of you.